Are you going to pray? I'm going to pray right now. I'll take a minute and I'll pray for Mondo, you know, pray the families. Let me know when. One minute. Good evening and God bless you. Welcome to our Friday night uh, Bible study, our life group. This is uh, Azusa Bible study. Uh, we love you and we miss you. And uh, we just want to tell you that uh, we will be together again soon. Uh, this too shall pass. Um, it is our prayers that uh, that each and every one of us just start uh, getting closer to God, draw nearer to God so that God will draw nearer to us. Um, we just want to tell you that we miss you all, uh, but we're going to come out of this stronger. We're going to come out of this uh, more uh, united, and we're going to come out of this uh, wiser. So just take time and get close to the Lord. That's our prayer for all of us. Uh, tonight we are... Um, we are honoring the social distancing, so we're just going to have a special um, special uh, worship, special service, a special uh, message of, of uh, hope and love, and uh, so let's get started. We want to open up in a word of prayer. Uh, all of us there, if you can, uh, out there, if you could just uh, bow your heads and, and lift your hands, and let's just open up in a word of prayer right now. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we thank you. Uh, for everything that you're doing, uh, we worship you tonight, Father God. We humble ourselves uh, this evening, Lord. We draw near to you that you would draw near to us, Father. We just ask you uh, to help each and every one of us this evening, Father God, uh, just to focus on you, Father God, to get our attention off of uh, just this busy life and we can put our attention on you tonight for this next 45 minutes that we can just grow spiritually. Uh, we just pray, Father God, a fresh anointing, Lord, upon this home, mm -hmm. a fresh anointing uh, upon this service. Uh, we love you, and we thank you so much for everything you're doing. Uh, in Jesus' name we pray, uh, amen and amen. I do want to say something about, this is Zeus' Bible study. We've been going on for about maybe seven or eight months. Uh, I'm not exactly sure of the, the month, but I just want to give a shout out uh, and a, uh, a big thank you to the Gonzalez family. Uh, this uh, Bible study was, it began uh, through the desire of our beloved sister Rochelle. Uh, rest in peace, our, our beautiful sister Rochelle and her family. And man, what a wonderful uh, thing it has bloomed into. We just had some great times. All of our families just coming together, celebrating for the Lord. And we want to continue building. We want to continue sharpening our, uh, each other. But we just so thankful to the Gonzalez family, a faithful, godly uh, family. There, none of us are perfect. We all go through the storms. But all of us, we thank God that we have Jesus in our lives. Amen. And so thank you to the Gonzalez family. And that's how this Bible study uh, started. Um, right now we have a special prayer request. I want to go through, uh, as we always start in prayer, I want to um, just go through a prayer of repentance. All of us, we just live this life. Maybe sometimes, you know, we make mistakes. We say things we didn't mean to. We offend people we didn't mean to. Maybe our family members were in tight quarters. So let's just pray right now. We're going to pray a covering. We're going to pray um, a prayer of repentance together. If we could just bow our heads. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you this evening. Uh, Father, help us, Lord. Help us in our flesh, Father God. Help us to overcome our flesh. Father God, we just pray right now that you would forgive us of our sins. Father, we ask you, Lord, to cleanse us of our sins right now in Jesus' name. I, I, I want you to right now just to take a couple seconds and just to confess to the Lord your sins. Confess to the Lord any mistakes any outbursts, whatever it is, you know what it is. Privately and personally, you can just confess to the Lord right now. We'll take a couple seconds to do that. Father, forgive us for the lust of our eyes, the lust of our flesh, the pride of our lives. Forgive us, Lord, for our outbursts of wrath. Forgive us for our uh, short tempers. Forgive us, Father God, for dist being distracted. Whatever it is, just speak to the Lord right now. We love you, Lord. 
The Bible says that if we confess our sins to him, that he is faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all unrighteousness. That's a promise to God. All of us, we need to practice to continue to confess to the Lord and pray our Pray a prayer of repentance. Lord, we repent of our sins. We turn away from our sins and we turn towards you, God. And we thank you, Father God, for cleansing us. We thank you for watching us. We ask you right now to create in each and every one of us a clean heart. Renew a steadfast spirit, Father God. Uh, we love you and we thank you, Father, for the cleansing. We thank you for your washing. Lord Jesus, we thank you for shedding your blood, the powerful blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, across, upon the cross. And by that, Lord, we are healed. By that blood, we have been set free. And we thank you for that. And we thank you for the washing. We thank you for your forgiveness in Jesus' name. Right now, together in unity, the Bible says when two or three are gathered that he is in the midst. We want to lift up... Uh, uh, we want to lift a special prayer request to Mondo. What's the family's name? Romero. We want to pray for the Romero family right now. Mondo is in the hospital Mondo, right now. Moses, Moses. We want to pray for this Mondo's prayer request. We're praying for Moses. Moses is in the is in the hospital right now, and he's having dealing with the kidneys. He's dealing with uh, just issues in his in his uh, in his body. And what we want to do is we want to lift him up in prayer right now. We want to pray for the Romero family. Uh, we need to just cover him right now through the blood of Jesus Christ because right now in the hospitals we're not the families aren't able to go in and visit them. And so sometimes those who are in the hospitals sometimes man it's. They think, think that they're alone, but we just want to lift him up right now uh, in prayer so that he knows and remembers that he's never alone, that the Lord is always with him. Let's just pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we lift up together, Lord, in one accord. Lord, we lift up Moses to you, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon Moses' life. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon Moses' kidneys, Lord. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ, Lord, upon Moses' body right now, Lord, where he's at, Father God. We pray that you would, Lord, that you would encourage him. Lord, we pray that you would heal him, Father. We pray, Lord, that you would remind Moses, Father God, of your presence in his life. Father God, help him, heal him, Father God. Bless him, Lord. Encourage him, Father God. Remind him that, Lord, he, you will never leave him. You will never forsake him, Father God. Even right now in that hospital room, Lord, you are with him, Father God. We ask you, Father God, to just breathe a breath of fresh air, Father God, upon Moses' heart, upon Moses' mind right now, Father God. And we cover the Romero family, Father God, his wife, his children. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon them, Lord. We just pray, Lord, that, Lord, they would just know, Father Father God, that you are with, Lord, their husband, that you are with their father, that you are with Moses right now, Father God. We pray for the Romero family, Father God, Lord. Hear their prayers, Father God. Answer their prayers, Lord. Heal, Father God, the leader of their family, Father God. We plead the blood of Jesus Christ upon the Romero family, Lord, and we just ask you, Father God, to minister to them, Father God, and Lord, let them not feel alone, Father God, as they're looking through. They're trying to get to see Moses, Father God, that you would just make a way, Lord, that you Father God, that you would give them hope, Father God, that you would comfort them, Father God, that they would know, Lord, that you, Father God, are answering their prayers, Father God, and that you, Lord, are in the room with Moses right now, Father. We thank you, Father God, that you are covering Moses. We thank you that you are answering our prayers, Father God. We continue to lift up, Father God, uh, the Romero family and Mondo's prayer request, Father God. We lift up Moses, Father God, and we thank you for your faithfulness, Lord. Lord, we know that prayer changes things. Lord, because you answer prayers, Father God. It's all based on your faithfulness. We love you, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. So listen, that's our prayer request. That's just our prayers this evening. Right now, we're going to get to, a, Pedro's going to come. He's going to do a, a time of worship, and then we'll get to the word. God bless you this evening. Amen. Good evening.
that, you know, I miss everyone. I miss serving next to you guys. I miss uh, the fellowship, you know, and, and, and uh, just uh, breaking bread with you guys, you know. Uh, you know, I know this is going to be over soon, so continue, you know, continue seeking God, you know, and I encourage everyone to make their home a sanctuary, you know, that's what we've done. You know, we spend a lot of time in our word and worshiping the Lord and prayer, and I encourage you guys also to do the same, amen. So I want to get into the word here, um, and I want to be sharing tonight out of, uh, out of uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verses 23 through 27. <clears throat> and the word of God reads, Then Jesus got, got into the boat and started across the lake with his disciples. Suddenly a fierce storm struck the lake. 
with waves breaking into the boat. But Jesus was, was sleeping. The disciples went and woke him up, shouting, Lord, save us. We're going, we're going to drown. Jesus responded, why are you afraid? You have so little faith. Then he got up, rebuked the wind and the waves, and suddenly there was a great calm. The disciples were amazed. Who is this man, they asked. Even the winds and waves obey him. Let's pray. Father, Lord, we come before you once again, Master. And we thank you, Father God, that you're in the boat with us, Father God. We thank you, Father Lord, that you're in the storm with us, Father God. We thank you, Father Lord, that you never leave us or forsake us, Father Lord. We just love you, Father God. We're so blessed, Father God, to have you by our side no matter what happens, Father God. We love you. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. So this scripture just uh, stood out to me, you know, uh, during these times, you know. Um, <clears throat> in the scripture, we see uh, a couple of things. We see a storm. We see panic. We see perf Jesus' perfect peace. Uh, faith by... Uh, uh, questioning of faith by Jesus and amazement, you know, and uh, you know, so this this reminds me of us sometimes. You know, the disciples they knew Jesus, they knew of his miracles, they knew of uh, that he was the second coming, uh, the the Messiah, and, uh, and and they still they still panic during the storm, you know, and uh, that's us sometimes, you know, that's that's us, and and. Um, during the, the, the midst of the storm, we panic. We panic, even as believers, you know. We know God's there. We know he's with us. But we forget during the time of trial, during the time of storm, you know. And um, sometimes, you know, life throws things at us. You know, you could be laid off at your work, you know. You could be, uh, 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 you know, struggling right now for money, you know. But you got to know that God is in control of the situation. He's always in control of your storm, amen. Um, <clears throat> so what the disciples here did is they thought the worst. They thought they were going to drown. They thought they were going to die, you know. And, uh, and, 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 you know, we jumped the gun when we panic. We jumped the gun. We jumped the gun and, and think the worst. The worst is going to happen. And it's so crazy, you know, that we forget about God's love during this time. We think that God jumps the boat, you know, and, and abandons us. But he doesn't. He's there. He's there with us all the time. Amen. You know, the, the word says that Jesus was asleep. You know, that doesn't mean that Jesus was is asleep during your storm. That means that Jesus is at, is at perfect peace, you know. We don't serve a God of fear. We don't serve a God of anxiety. We serve a God of peace, you know. Just because we're running around biting our nails and, 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 and worrying doesn't mean Jesus is going to come along with us and do that also. You know, he, he, he's, not, he's not of that. That's not in his nature to be, uh, have anxiety or fear, amen. Fear isn't of God. Fear is the enemy. And we know that the enemy is a liar, amen? So, during the midst of the storm, we got to rely on God. We got to call on God. That's what the disciples did in this scripture. They woke him up, you know? They called out to God. And um, that's what we also got to do. We got to call to him. The word of God also says, don't be anxious for nothing. That means for nada, nothing, you know? Don't be anxious. But instead, pray. And the peace of God will guard your hearts and your mind, amen? Amen. So you cry out to God. When you're feeling anxious or you're feeling fear or you feel like the whole world's tumbling down on you, run to God. Pray to God. That's what we do. You know, uh, God's word is so, so rich and so heavy, you know. You get a breakthrough. Get into your word. I know sometimes it's like, okay, this, problem's, this problem is, is consuming me. You know, I got to deal with it. But run to God. That's what God's telling you to do. Amen. Amen. Run to him. Pray to him. Amen. He'll give us perfect peace. The spirit of fear isn't. The spirit of fear isn't of God. You know, heart attacks, strokes, you know, uh, popping pills, you know, to calm your anxieties. That's not of God. That was never meant for you. 
You know, uh, uh, in the world we used to run to alcohol, we used to run to drugs, you know, we used to run to the bad things, you know, and, and that's not what God never intended for us, you know, when we used to do those things, that was because we were fearing, it was because we were anxious, you know, you still hear it in the world, you know, oh, I gotta get a drink, I gotta, I gotta go, you know, I had a rough day at work, you know, this came at me, this came at me, so I gotta go get a drink, but you know what, that's only gonna make it worse, there's, you'll never find true joy like you find in God, in Jesus Christ, amen, amen. um, so, so church, the good thing about this about a storm is that a storm always ends. It's never forever. It comes to an end. Amen. And right now, your your faith is being tested. Amen. Your commitment to God is being tested. Your identity in Christ is being tested right now. Never back up. Amen. One thing I admire about Jesus is he never backed up. Backed up, uh, backed up on who he was, you know, I was watching uh, Passion in the Christ the other day, and um, I was watching when, uh, you know, uh, Jesus was, was uh, you know, getting beat, you know, they were beating him, and, uh, and, and they were asking him, so do you, are you the Messiah? And he never backed down, he always said yes, you know, he was the Messiah, and, and, and he, he, that's what makes a true leader, you know, he, under the stress, and under the, under the, uh, uh, um, under the pressure, uh, you, you know, you know who you are, you know, your identity in Christ, you know, yeah, yeah. just because we're not going uh, to church right now, that doesn't mean that we're on vacation, you know, God, God is still with us, we're ser still servants of the Lord, amen, that's right. That's right. and that's one thing I admire about Jesus, he always knew who he was, he, I am the bread of life, I am the, the light of the world, I am the door, I am the good shepherd, I am the resurrection and the life. I am the way, the truth, and the life. I am the vine. Amen. Jesus knew who he was. He knew who he is, who's he knew his identity. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. So ask yourselves tonight. What's your identity? Amen. Is your identity is your identity in in, in uh is your identity in, in your job, in sports, yourself? Do you trust God at this time, you know? Uh, just because we're going through this right now, uh, do you feel that, that, that God is not with you, you know? But I'm here to tell you that God is with you. Amen. God is with us. Right. He's still here. He's still alive right now. Amen. We're so blessed, you know? We're so blessed because God himself is 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 here with us no matter what amen so <clears throat> i just want to encourage everyone tonight you know to carry on to carry on with what god has given you to continue with your gifts continue serving serving people you know continue let your light shine continue let, letting your light shine never question your faith amen Know that the peace of God is with you and that he'll never leave you or forsake you. Amen. Um, you know, I just had a, it's so crazy that I share this uh, because uh, I've, been, I've been reading about this and a storm hit me yesterday. You know, I was right here uh, doing some office work and, uh, and I kept on getting calls. You know, I got calls from the city, you know, on a job we were doing. I got called from, you know, my brother because, uh, we, we misdiagnosed something. Uh, I got a call from a customer, you know, it seemed like my whole world was caving in at once, you know, and I started panicking, you know, and I started, you know, oh man, you know what I'm going to do here? I got to, you know, plug up this, this hole, you know, I got to plug up that, I got to do this. And um, the spirit of panic came into my house, you know, even my daughter felt it, you know, and then even my brother felt it. And I knew and back in my mind, because I already had read this, this is a storm I'm going through, and Jesus is here. You know it's going to be. You know it's going to be uh, okay. You know everything's going to work out for the good. Amen. So Amen. Right. I just want to encourage you guys, continue seeking the Lord. Amen. Uh, the Word of God also says this. Um, Take my yoke upon you. Let me teach you. 
because I am humble and gentle at heart. And you will find rest for your souls. Amen. So take invite Jesus into your heart. Amen. Invite him into your heart and and and, and seek him. You know, he's a gentleman. He's going to knock at your, uh, at your heart. You got to allow him in. Amen. So I just pray for you guys tonight. I pray that you continue worshiping the Lord. Continue making your house a sanctuary. Amen. And, and you'll be amazed. Just like the disciples were amazed when they seen Jesus calm the, the storm. Amen. So I love you guys. I, I miss you guys. And continue seeking the Lord. Amen. Good, friend, brother Alex. Matthew 8, verse 23. Amen. Powerful message, man. You know, even uh, <clears throat> Jesus was asleep in the storm. You know, and they were panicking. And I bet if, if I would have saw Jesus asleep, I would have been like, man, he's asleep. I would have probably just went down there and laid right next to him, man, and fell asleep. But you know, we're humans, and when the storms come, all we see is the waves, the lightning, the clouds. Amen. Thank you, Brother Alex. We're going to worship God right now. One more song, and then we're going to close. Amen. I just want to bless your name. I just want to make you good. I just want to
Jesus is the one. He's the Prince of Peace. He's the only one that can give us that, that peace. And the people who don't know God, they say, man, how come you're such, how come you're not afraid? How come, how come everything seems to be okay with you? Let's go. We have Jesus. Amen. Build our faith. Amen. And overcome our fear. Let's just bow our heads and pray. Father, in Jesus' name, we love you and we thank you. We pray for our hearts tonight, Lord. Thank you, Father, for the blessing, Father God, of Azusa, Bible study, the life group, Father God. Thank you, Father God, for Rochelle's legacy, Lord, the godly legacy of her children, Father God. We pray for Jeffrey right now, and Curtis, and Crystal, and Priscilla, Father, and all of the family, Lord. And Jose, Father, continue to bless, Father God, all of your people, Lord. We love you, Lord. We love you, we love you, we love you, Lord. We give you all praise, honor, and glory. And we will worship you, Lord, in the midst of the battle, Father. In the midst of the storm, we love you. In Jesus' name we pray. The church said, amen and amen. God bless you this evening.